A mentor can be anyone around you. One that probably stands out in my mind is a high school basketball coach. And the reason is, is, you know, I was never that great at sports. I was great at school. I was great at tests. I mean, I could do, uh, you know, nail a perfect score on a test. But playing sports was difficult. Uh, and I tried out in ninth grade for a junior varsity basketball team. And, uh, you know, I got on the team and I just was really bad. And I wanted to quit. And this coach really sat with me and taught me that practice is all I need. I may not be the best, but I'm, I'll be able to do it if I practice and if I put my mind to it. And, you know, it was an investment on his part to spend the time when easily someone could have just said, you know, forget it, it's fine, you, you don't need to play. And, and he really invested in me. And I, I think that, that really defines mentorship. I think there's a few components to mentorship. I think it's someone that's willing to spend their time and invest in someone and teach them, mentor them, guide them. I think mentorship is also being able to help someone recognize their potential where they may not have realized they could go. Uh, and, and last, I think what mentorship is also letting someone being, uh, giving someone the ability to pay it forward. And, and now where I am, uh, you know, as a physician, when I have students or residents that I'm working with, you know, I want to mentor them. If I see someone that's got potential or someone that's struggling, I want to go out of my way to help them because I am where I am today because of those mentors. And so I feel like it's only appropriate if I, I pay it forward.